All right, these are the worst kind of people in Clash of Clans. The worst kind of people. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel and unfortunately welcome to another video where I gotta make about these motherfuckers out here, man. Motherf also, it's gonna be a little bit, you know, PG-13, you know what I'm saying? Because we're we not holding back for these bitches, alright? It's not a lot of content that I can go around this time because I am preparing to move, at this point in time, at the recording of the video, I am preparing to move across the United States and pursue my dream in, you know, in real life and not in a, a video game, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, I have actual goals and dreams I want to accomplish, not sit around all day and hunt people in the game class clans. Anyway, we're going to go over two different incidents here. Uh, we have the first one, obviously, dealing with um, Fight Club. If you have not seen the first video with me talking about these guys, feel free to check that out. I originally was not going to make this video because I had people in my stream the other day coming in like, Oh, you going to make the video? Where's, where's the second video? Well, here it is, motherfucker. Here we go. Second video. Now, again, I was not in the clan... Uh, for the second war here, you can see on the footage that uh, Fight Club matched with defeat again and took down their streak. Brought it down from, I believe, 25 or 26 all the way back down to zero. Alright, Fight Club is infamous for hunting clans and ruining their streets. They're up at, I think, 75 now. If we take a look at their clan, Fight Club. Top Fair, <laughs> top fair Play War Clan. Well, if it's in the description, they're not lying, right? Totally. Anyway, um, top fair play war clan, whatever. 75 in a row now. Um, they're the same clan that's been messing with us from six months ago. Can you believe that? Six months, right? In the midst of everything that's going on, COVID, you know, police brutality, you know, wildfires in the western coast and all, all this crazy shit. And we got these dudes dedicated to hunting down clans and ruining their streets. Obviously, they've done it to multiple people besides us because I got up to 75, but it's just so crazy. I understand with COVID and quarantine, there's more to do now, right? There's more to like sit around and, you know, you're bored, you got stuff to do, whatever. It's just, it, it's crazy, man. It, it's it's actually crazy. But as you saw from the uh, little screenshots and replays, 100% um, of the feed again. Again, I am not in the feed right now because, again, I am preparing for moving, which I'm doing next week at the time. I'm, I'm literally moving across the United States. I don't have time. Uh, or I, don't, I, wouldn't have, I didn't really have the time to really um, sit down and make videos, but um, with the second incident, which I'm going to go over in the later part of the video, it just made a nice video, so that's why we're here today talking about the worst people in Clash of Clans. But yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, there's not a lot of content here to go over. All the people in the feed, if we go into look at their bases, I don't have to worry about burning bases because... Wow! There you go. Alright, so now they can't make a YouTube video off of it and say that, oh, they took our streak. You know, they can't do that now because every single base on our team had the exact same message. They're not, they're not gonna put that up. Why would they put that up? You know what I'm saying? Why, why would they create controversy over on their channels where everybody's so blind to what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? Like I was looking at some of the videos before I started recording and uh, I was looking at some of the comments and they're like, wow. Wow, you guys are amazing. Perfect attacks, wow. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, they're not gonna put this up because in all their loyal, non-questioning, you know, blind to the noise fans won't, they'll start questioning, like, what is this? Why do the bases say that, right? Why do the bases say Fight Club cheats? They wouldn't do that, you know what I'm saying? It's like following, and let me stop. Anyway, um, so, I mean, that's pretty much what happened with Fight Club again. Again, they came into my stream yesterday, and, you know, one of them <laughs> was asking me what the video is. I don't have any content from this. You guys cheated again to beat the feed. And, and that's that. I probably have a couple people in my comments from the Fight Club team that's like, you guys couldn't beat it. You know how they, it's funny because you guys never address the actual thing. You guys never address like, oh, yeah, we're better. We'll, we'll do a friendly war or, you know, we'll, we'll take you one on one, you know, with fresh bases, you know, right off the dome. No problem, whatever. It's always, oh, we beat you. Oh, how's that red line in the, in the war log? We're the best attackers in the world. You can never beat us. It's always around the issue. It's always around the question of, hey, why don't we, okay. Friendly war, 24 hours to build bases, best team wins. 
no response from them, all right? Nothing from them. You know why? Because they don't have the time. They don't have the months and the weeks to sit there and prepare for the bases, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's mind-boggling. And thinking about it even more, right? 75 wins. So the last time, what, they were like 49? They're at 75 now, okay? So that means for the past six months, right, they've been hunting other clans, suppose, I mean, that's just, I'm just, I'm just gonna assume, hunting other clans, grabbing their bases in the same way, and c continuously, constantly, friendly challenge bases, you know, finding the bases they need to take down, finding the weakness, attacking over and over again. How much time? Now, like, in the first video, I was like, okay, this takes a lot of time to do that for one clan. Like, you take all that time for one. How many people and how much time to attack different clans all the time, right? Because you can't build 75 from 50, that's 25, it's about two months, all right? So within the last six months, they took in two months out of that time to war. And within that time frame, they had to, you know, take the time to get used to those bases and take them down. All right, I can't see the war log because it's private. You know, they don't want to show it, whatever it is. And there's websites, of course, you can go see it. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't, you know, I don't have the energy and the care to sit around and do that. So I'm not going to do that. So it's just crazy to think about how much time they really put. Like, how do you not get bored? You know what I'm saying? The guy that came into my stream was talking about, I, was, I, I asked him, I was like, hey man, what, why do you guys, you know, what do you guys do? And he, you know, sarcastically, jokingly, uh, basically gave me the answer by saying we just personal side just like I chalked up in the first video personal satisfaction that is it that is it y'all sit around for that long for personal satisfaction you guys could be you know pursuing dreams careers goals you know having a family you know progressing in life um, but this is what you choose to do again I'm gonna I Personal satisfaction. You're not getting money from it. The YouTube channels aren't getting money from it. I've noticed that one of the channels have hidden their subscribers. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but you've hidden the amount of subscribers you've had. What's up with that? Uh, and then the other one has only grown by like 70 subs or something like that. Not that much. Um, so what? Why? The dopamine rush of beating a clan unfairly is enough for you guys to continuously go and just over and over and over again. Okay, all right. That's pretty much it for the Fight Club. They found the feet again, ruined the streak once again. And uh, we haven't found the spy. Don't know who the spy is. A couple people were accused of it and they left. We don't think it's them. It might be some other people. Smokey, if you're watching, anybody from the feed watching it right now, just, just tighten the noose, man. I would really tighten it. I would just like start filtering people, you know what I'm saying? Um, Honestly, anybody who wasn't here when the first feed incident happened, or the first Fight Club incident happened, I, I would have kicked them out. I would have kicked them out, man. I would have had a very, very strict news. You know what I'm saying? Like, my clan right now, as of the recording right now, is on a 25, 26 war win streak. We're doing pretty good. There is nobody in my clan who's part of anyone in my clan, right? Now, unless they're selling information to Fight Club, everyone in my clan right now has been a part of my clan, or my feeder clan, or my streams, or my YouTube channel before I even joined the feed. So I, tr I already got that trust, you know what I'm saying? So the only way they'd be able to get in is if, you know, somebody that I, somebody you know, that's there that's giving out information, stuff like that, um, which, you know, could happen. I mean, I, I don't know, if someone comes up with enough money and they approach one of my boys and Colin sees the dime, he's like, damn, sorry, ass, I gotta, <laughs> gotta put this knife in your back. You know what I'm saying? If it happens, it happens. Uh, make sure you get their number five. Can't three star Smokies Fight Club cheat base. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We have some information. Wait a minute. They couldn't three star this? Oh, we got to. Oh, no. Edelweiss. What do you mean? Guess we'll play that in the background or in the corner for you guys. Because still, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Fight Club part. Now let's get on to the second part because it basically ties into it. It, it ties into the. It, it's crazy how much Clash of Clans is bringing me drama. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's, I mean, it, it's bound. It, you're gonna get it, right? I'm a YouTuber. I'm a streamer. You know what I'm saying? I do it, so I'm gonna get haters and people who don't like me, and I'm gonna get controversy and drama is gonna come my way every now and then. But I didn't expect it like this. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so. Second incident is around this guy that was I thought was pretty cool. All right, everybody who's part of my streams will know this, um, and anyone who's been part of like Teco streams and part of the friendly challenges, tournaments, and all that will know who I'm talking about. So his name is 
El DeVito. Everybody will definitely know who he is. This dude, man. This is one sensitive mother. This is one sensitive dude, man. So I don't know what like goes on in his brain, but we were cool. He was a cool dude. I had nothing against him. All right, he was cool. He earned my trust. He was chilling. We were vibing. Um, I had nothing against him or anything like that. He was a great attacker. Um, you know, he taught me some stuff how to play and you know, gave me some pointers stuff like that. And as a you know. As someone of my, you know, I'm looking to get any types of pointers and learn a little bit and stuff like that. I don't have any problems with that. My pride's not big enough to where it's like, oh, I'm a YouTuber. You can't teach me anything. You know what I'm saying? I will draw in as many points as I can from people who are credible and stuff like that. He was a good attacker, all that good stuff. And uh, I made him a mod on my Twitch streams, right? So I have a Twitch channel where I stream and, uh, you know, we do Clash and tons of other games and stuff like that. So he was a mod on that channel. And uh, we were cool, we, you know, we were really cool, trustworthy. I had no problems with him, all right? Um, I first noticed he was kind of sensitive when I tried to get him into the feed, right? Into the feed that just went down against fights. I tried to get him into that clan because he was a good attacker. He would have been great for the feed. He was trustworthy to me, seemed cool. You know, he didn't seem like he was part of that group, although he was part of a clan that I believe was banned or caught cheating or something called the Neighborhood, but it's not spelled correctly or something like that. Anyway, um, I tried to get him into the feed. The process to get into the feed, the timing was weird, and he was all upset about it. And he was like, I can't get into the feed. Or, you know, I'm trying to talk to them, and they won't respond to me in a couple of days. I'm like, dude, it's CWL. Because he tried to do it during CWL, and it's like, there's no point of you even joining because you're not going to be in the roster. So why would you want to join? You're not going to get any medals, and you're not going to, well, you're just not going to participate. He's a max, you know, he's a, he has a, he has a max space. He doesn't need the medals, but you're not going to play. So why would you want to join right now? So a few days went by. I was trying to just, you know, just conversate with them, try to talk them down, be like, look, man, just give them some time, just be patient, it's not that big deal, it's not that big of a deal, you know, just, you know, talk it out, work it out, you know what I'm saying, you're not getting your responses that you want, but we're trying to focus on CWL and push to, you know, chance one and everything, so, he wasn't happy about the process, by the time we got to the point where I was like, because I was vouching, because if I vouch for somebody to get into the feed, they'll get in, if I vouch you to get into the clan, it's a nice clan, everybody's cool there, for the most part, except for the fucking spies um if you get into the you know if you get into the feed if i if i vouch for you i feel like i've got earned enough credibility within the clan in order to you know people people in the clan so if i was like hey devito is a good player you we should try to get him into the feed they would have took him and they were going to it's just during that time cwl it was just an awkward time you know what i'm saying and devito has a hard time i don't know what it is conversations is just not his strong point you know he's a he, he just runs you know he doesn't you know oh it's fine I don't want to talk about it anymore. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Like, bro, just relax, have the conversation, and then we'll just work it out. It's not that big a deal. Anyway, that didn't go down. The feed thing kind of fell apart. He just, whatever, didn't want to join um, and all that good stuff. And then a couple weeks later, uh, I'm streaming. And um, so apparently I stream one day or one night and something happens. And he tells one of my uh, good moderators, he's another moderator. He's a good guy named Jerry. Jerry's a beast. Anybody who watches the stream and follows along knows who Jerry is. Jerry is a monster. Um, <laughs> and apparently he told Jerry that I said something that offended him. Okay? So I was like, alright, what did he say? Well, what was it? And apparently DeVito didn't tell him what it was. I'm like, okay. So me and Jerry spent like the day, next day and a half to figure out what it was. Went through the streams and he was like, oh, it was during the time when Jerry wasn't there. And he said something specific. What I think it was, and I'll have clips play as I'm explaining this. I think it was when... I was on stream and he was like, do two of your CWL hits. People who aren't streamers won't understand this, but it's very nerve wracking. It's very nerve wracking to do hits on stream. You got a bunch of people watching you. If you mess up, you know, it's a little bit different versus doing it offline where nobody's watching. So yeah, man, we're doing one of them. I have two, I have two CWL attacks to do, so. Oh, and DeVito's like, do both. Okay, all right. If Jerry was here, he has a call, but since DeVito hasn't, you know, persuaded with uh the coin you know what i'm saying um uh, we're gonna do just one i didn't want to do both my hits i don't want to do one so i was like hey devito and it was it was more of a joke slash deflection it was not supposed to be that serious but i was like i'm not gonna do that but your opinion pretty much doesn't count unless you want to you know send me some money and at this point in time he knew I don't ask for money on my stream. I don't want people to donate to me on the stream. It's free to watch. I tell Gustavo knows, Jerry knows, and Jeff when he came, he knows. It's free to watch. Just enjoy the content. Y'all wanna ask some questions, we chill. 
that's what it's there for. I'm not here to give your money. You know, I don't need that. You know what I'm saying? So when I said that, it was supposed to be clearly a joke. I never ask for money seriously on my stream. I don't, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So apparently that was enough to make him mad. He got offended for the next few weeks. After that point, he would not show up to my streams anymore. This is a guy who would constantly spam my DMs on Discord. Discord. <laughs> Discord. Uh, he would spam my messages on Discord and be like, hey, why don't you go live? When are you going to go live again? Hey, you know, you want to go live today? You know, let's go. Let's do I enjoy your shit. Da, da, da. You know, so he'd be constantly in there. And then after that incident happened, he stopped coming, basically. All right. And I started sending some test messages. I just started, him, you know, hey, I'm live. Hey, I'm live. Because he doesn't have his Twitch notifications turned on. So I was like, all right, I will tell you. And I told him, I will tell you when I'm live so you don't miss a stream. So I did like two or three times. He didn't come. Um, he stopped coming for a little bit. He started to like drift back in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He started drifting back in a little bit. And um, it seemed like it was warming up to the point where it was before, which is fine. I had, at that point in time, I had no problem with this guy, right? Again, he was a mod on my Twitch channel, a mod. So he has, you know, powers to edit stuff and everything like that. So apparently, uh, I think it was yesterday, right? 26, yeah. Yesterday, I noticed, I go into my stream, I'm loading up my stuff, we're doing base reviews, we're doing war tags, we're chilling. Or well, not war tax. We're just you know doing clan games or whatever we're doing, and I'm trying to put in the command for base reviews, which is you know the command br. So I'm like, all right, just you know put the command for br. Da da da. Here you go. You want a base review? Send it to this. And uh, four people sent the br command. I was like, why isn't Nightbot working? Because Nightbot on Twitch is usually flawless. No data available for commands. What? what the fuck is wrong with Nightbot? What happened to all my commands? Bro, all my commands are gone. What do you mean? Did someone delete my commands? Yo, what the fuck? Hold up. Who are my mods right now? Did someone do this while I was offline? Hold on, hold on. Who the fuck are my mods right now? Bob wouldn't do it. Colin wouldn't do it. Tekka wouldn't do it. Verlex doesn't even get on. The only person I can think of doing this was maybe DeVito. Okay, so someone deleted my shit. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to remove him because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Min wouldn't do it. Jerry wouldn't do it. I hope Jerry wouldn't do it. I mean, he donated over $1,500. Bob wouldn't do it, right? Where's Bob at? Bob, you're in the chat, right? Is there a way to delete commands while offline? Yeah, you come into the chat and you press the commands. I mean, it's it's it's, it's the same, you know, it's the same thing. You can do it while you're offline. Hunter's got your Twitch too. Oh no, they got my Twitch. <laughs> Not all my goddamn commands. Not where it hurts. So it said. So Nightbot says that somebody was putting commands in on August 21st, and my last stream was on August 20th. What is going on here? Log to Nightbot. All of my commands are gone. Every single one is gone, and there's a there was a lot of commands when I first started doing YouTube and streaming. Um, I just had basic commands. I had like ten of them, right? Welcome to the channel, base review, my YouTube, my Twitch, and I think that I mean, my clans. That's it. I didn't really have a lot of things. When I got over to Twitch, a lot of people started like my moderators, like Jerry and Devito, and I think that's it. They started adding more commands, more sentimental things, funny things that I did. Da 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 da. You know, goblins, the joke, all that stuff. Everybody, if you watch the stream, you know what I'm talking about. All the commands were gone. There was a lot of commands, right? I'm looking at Nightbot. I'm like, all right, well, there was 160 commands in the chat. I didn't stream on the 21st. So somebody went into my, went on my channel while I was offline and deleted every single command by heart, by, by like manually. Each just typed out every single one. Delete, 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 delete. And I'm like, all right, let me look at my moderator list. The only person who would do it is DeVito. So I assumed, I blatantly assumed he did it. So I deleted him. I took him off my moderator list, right? Um, I tried to mess with him on Discord. It said you're blocked. Okay, definitely him then. So I continue my stream and I'm about to end it, right? So I'm getting to the end of my stream. And if you guys, I'm gonna put the clips in. If you guys wanna go back to the stream and watch it, you can. It's on my Twitch. Um, he comes into the stream and he says, oh, I'm hearing all these, I'm getting all these messages that I'm this puss boy because I deleted all your commands. The first thing he says is, or it might not be the first thing, but one of the things he says is, I didn't delete your commands. Why would I do that? Why would he do that? That's a good question, right? So the thing, the incident before that, that made him mad, because I was like on stream, again, I'll, I'll have the clips play for you guys. What did I do to make you mad? What did I do? I deleted all your commands. Yeah, you blocked me on Discord. I tried to, I tried to ask you on Discord and it said I'm blocked.
It's whatever, man. You just been you've been you've been acting all weird ever since I said something in chat. You won't tell me what it is. You told Jerry behind my back, and then you stopped coming to my stream for it, and you never explained to me what it was. I mean, what do you want me to do, man? It's just shady to do. So, I had 160 commands be put into my comment and into my Twitch channel on August 21st, and I didn't stream on August 21st. I still showed up for streams, did I? Yeah, you showed up for streams. But how come you didn't respond to any of my live messages? Why would I delete it weeks later? I have no idea. I showed up during streams and I'll go delete commands weeks later. People are spiteful. People are spiteful. Maybe I said something else that made you mad. Maybe I said something else. You still haven't you still haven't said what it was. Why did I lie about anything? All I did was show up today and people are discord messaging me about being pulled. So here I am. I showed up. I didn't delete the shit, but feel free to believe what you want. Okay. You've said that before. Going in circles now. Why were you mad? Were you mad? Yes or no? Were you mad and why were you mad? That's the that's the question I'm asking. Were you mad and why were you mad? So I'm trying to get him to talk to me and be like, you know, what did I do to make you mad, all right? I felt kind of bad because I did accuse him. I technically had no evidence at this point that he did what he did, right? Just I was like, just tell me why you were mad, all right? Uh, it just, I was like, it just seems like, like who else would do it besides you, you know what I'm saying? Like who else on my list, on my moderator list, that I would do it besides you. Everybody else on my moderator list besides Jerry was on my moderator list like when I first started. Like, I mean like way back, like a couple years ago when I first started, those people have been part of my clan for a long time. Why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Why would they mess with me? And then Jerry, the monster, donated a ton, he donated a ton of money to me. Why would he donate so much money and then mess with my channel like that? You know what I'm saying? Like negatively. So DeVito was the only person. He was the only person who was mad at me. That's all I was telling him in the stream. You guys just saw the clip. So, I dropped it. Stream ends, whatever, I'm gonna go to sleep, well, you know, watch some TV or whatever, and call it a night. 1.30 a.m. hits, he hits me with a Discord. All right, put it up on the screen for you guys. And he says a bunch of stuff. Um, he's like, you know, I didn't touch the fucking commands. Maybe Jerry did. He's trying to blame other people and stuff like this. And he's lying through his teeth or whatever. And I'm like, all right, before I respond to it, right, let me do some research. So I researched does Nightbot keep logs? Something keeps, I know something keeps logs on the channel, right? And so I'm like, all right, Nightbot keeps logs of commands that were used and I just got to find it. So I went back into Nightbot at like 2 a.m. and I go to my logs and I start searching through them. I'll start digging through them, all right? Luckily I don't stream that much so there's not many messages to go through but um, I'd filter it by DeVito's name and guess what I find? Screenshot up on the fucking screen. This motherfucker deleted every fucking command by hand and lied straight to his teeth. So my last message I sent to him was, shut the fuck up, you lying sack of shit. Right? So that was a long ass second part, but it, it ties in with this fight club. Like, why the fuck does it, why, why are you doing this? Right? Three weeks later, you're coming back onto my stream while I'm offline, randomly. Right? Randomly. Fucking, it was like a Tuesday. He randomly comes online and he starts deleting all my stuff. Alright? Um, he hasn't said anything about it since, and I don't think he will. You know, he's a, he's a spineless, slimy motherfucker, just like the motherfuckers from Fight Club. Alright? These are the worst kind of people in Clash of Clans. The worst kind of people. Right? It's a fucking video game, and I gotta deal with this bullshit. Right? And it's not really that big of a deal at the end of the day. I gotta make some content, right? I'm having a good time. I don't really care at the end of the day, right? Fight Club gets this, the War Streak one, you know, they took it down. DeVito drops off the face of the earth or whatever. You know, his reputation around the Twitch community is going to go down. And it's a small community in the class community, so it's gonna go around pretty fast. Um, but like, it's a fucking video game, man. Why is it, why is there so much drama? What the fuck, man? Alright, so... That's the second incident, so Fight Club and uh, DeVito, I had to deal with this week, so it was just interesting, man. I don't know what the fuck, it's, it's a fucking video game, man. You play the game for fun. The fuck we doing this for, right? Fucking liars and slimy fucks and... Alright, I mean, that's, that's, that's all I really got for the video, guys. I know this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. At least it looks like it. I haven't edited it yet, but... 
Looks like, it looks like it's going to be a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. I apologize for the length of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, you know, I will see you guys soon in the next video. It's just weird, man. I, I, I'm, you know, it's a video game and there's so much drama. There's just so much drama. Uh, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed it, if you guys made it to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see everyone in the next video. I don't know when the next video is going to come out. Again, I'm moving. As of recording this, I'm moving in the next week or so across the United States of America. It's a long-ass drive. So, you know, I'm going to be a little busy, but I wanted to report on this. I wanted to, you know, get some content out for you guys. I thought it'd be a little interesting to do, you know what I'm saying, instead of my normal stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you did, definitely appreciate it, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't be a slimy fuck.